Yo, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I know it's been a while, um, I had a lot of things going on, so, but I'm back, I'm gonna start making more videos, alright, so I'm not gonna waste your time, I'll let you hear the beat, then I'm gonna break it down for you. much time listening to it all right okay so first off i start with my chord you want to unlock your you want to unlock your um piano you want to lock your piano roll to um to whatever scale you want to you, you want to you working on all right so i wanted to start with c sharp so that's why i locked it on c sharp minor i put it on there and the reason i i do this is it when I move the notes around, it's almost like a magnet. It's like snapping the notes to the right sounds for me. I don't have to, you know, guess. So it makes things easier. All right, I'm going to let you hear it. Um, yep, that's it. Nothing crazy. And then I have a different version of it where I add some extra notes and the bass notes. For that, it's nothing crazy. Again, use the I use the root notes. I copy the root notes and I lower down one octave. And for the first part of the chord, I do the same thing. Copy the um the root notes and raise it one octave. And it sounds like this. See this part sounds fuller because it has more notes playing at the same time. Plus, plus with the bass notes. All right. And then another part of it right here in the beginning of the uh, the verse. I'm not the first, the hook. So the hook have two part of it. I always have two part of my hook. Um, This part, that's where I started. And then after that, I, the second part, I built it up. All right. So I'm using the same chord again. So in this one, I remove all the other extra notes. So I kept the root notes right here. I kept the root notes and then see it's the same notes. I kept the root notes. I shorten it and then I, I, I duplicate it and raise it up two octave. Nope. Yeah. See. All right. And moving on. We go to the melody playing with the chord. Same thing again. I start with the I start with the root note and I just move the notes around. For this one, if you could tell, I'm using a pattern where I'm going up. I'm raising the sound up. I mean the notes up and then I'm lowering it back down. All right, go up and lowering it back down. Uh, that's a safe way to do melodies because most of the melody you hear on the radio, if you listen to it or you see it. It's always going up and down, up and down. All right. Um. Then I'll let you see the roots. I mean, not the roots. The the chord in the background is a ghost. As you can see, I'm using the same notes. All right. And that's it. I'll let you hear how this sound by itself. <laughs> So then I was being lazy. I didn't want to come up with another uh, another melody for the for the verse. So all I did, I copied the same notes, and I just removed the notes that was in between that. That's all. And it sounds like this. Yep. All right. And so for the after listening to it for the for the hook i thought like i said i always want to things to start slow then go up and then come back down uh what i did is i copied the, i used my tie i copied the, 
the cord right here and I brought it down to um to the string right here. So it's actually a regular string playing. I'll let you hear it. She's not a string, is a is a sample plane. All right, and then what I did is I added the the arp right here to make t. All right, so if you don't know how to use the um the note effects, so Studio One comes with some note effects. If you go to um your instrument, it should be on the top, and and when you open it, is uh there's a arp there's a chord a quarter and filter uh repeater so it just repeat the notes in a certain part you know you can mess around with it i'm not gonna go through all this but most of the time i use the uh, uh, arpeggiator um the reason i use it i don't know i guess it makes things easier on my part sometimes and there's some presets if you want to use it but if you don't know how to use them all you do is just grab it and drag it on top of the notes right here and you let go and once you do that this little piece right here this little part is gonna come up said note effect and you could click on it and you can also turn them off too right here if you go in here and it says art you can turn it off from here you could completely remove it uh, let me go to this one and show you real quick right. put it right here see how it shows up right there and then you could just remove it whenever you want to all right but if you want me to go more in depth into that you let me know all right right now we're gonna keep it moving okay so that's gonna be the whole thing for the for the instrument parts i'll let you hear everything together uh, So then, I for the drums I start with the hi hats. All right, so for the hi hats, all I did is I used the basic drill beat hi hats pattern, and then I go back and I just go back and add some extra notes in between that. All right, nothing special. And then I add the the snares. Same thing with the snares. Basic. Um, for the snares, for the when it comes to drill, all you did is all I do is you move the um. All you have to do is you move the second um note over. That's it. And then I got a kick right here. For the kick, you'll see how I keep everything separate from each other. Most of the kicks are separated from each other, except when I need like a, a like a triplet or something. Um, yeah, for that type of beat, you, you don't want to put too much on the kick. You don't want to get, you don't want to keep them close to each other. You want to separate them. All right. And then what else? Yeah. The 808. For the 808. Yeah. For the 808, all I did is I used the, the root notes for the chord again. Use the root note for the chord. All right. And the. And then I just in between the the notes the the long notes I use the um I use the uh, the the chord again but I will move some notes around just to make it sound so with this part you just mess around with it to see how it sounds to you or whatever sounds good and make sure it goes along with the with the beat all right um where is it. Then again, same thing. You see how I'm going up, then I'm going back, I'm coming back down. I go up, come back down. Go up, come back down. Alright. And the 
only other extra thing I, I, I had this loop from uh, Splice is the drill hi-hat loops I use this right here alright that's it and actually one more thing for the 808 for the intro I have something different playing right here That's the whole beat. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, most of the time, I'm just going to give it away to somebody. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I know I had a few requests for mixing and EQing, which I'm going to get to. I haven't had a chance to do it, but I'll get to it. Uh, if you have any other requests, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you, if you haven't done so. And likes or uh thumbs down whatever you want but anyway so thanks for thanks for watching i'm back i'm gonna start making more videos and i guess i'll see you in the next video all right i'm out